What's up everybody? This is KG. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my hometown, Toronto, Canada. So I'm going to be telling you about the different things you can do in this wonderful city. Now this information can be useful for somebody who's visiting Toronto for the first time or even for someone who lives in Toronto and is just looking for some ideas of what they can do. So I think the best part of living in Toronto is it's such a multicultural and diverse city which ends up giving us so many different options for things to do in the city. To start out, let's look at some of the neighborhoods that are in Toronto. We have India Town, which is located on Girard Street. There are many different Indian restaurants to try out and eat the food there. You can also buy Indian clothes like the saris and even the gold jewelry that Indian culture seems to love. And not too far away from there on the Danforth is Greek Town. And again, in Greek Town, you have a variety of Greek food and restaurants and different Greek desserts and treats and even seafood. And Greek Town is one of my favorite areas to visit. A few other cultural neighborhoods in Toronto would be Little Italy, which is along College Street. You have Chinatown, which is along Spadina Avenue. There is an area called Little Portugal. And an area I go to fairly frequently is Koreatown slash Japantown, which is between Bathurst and Christie along Bloor. You will find a lot of Japanese and Korean fusion style restaurants and even individual restaurants specializing in Japanese or Korean food along that path. Now if you're looking for fresh fish, there's two markets. There's a St. Lawrence market which sells fresh fish and fresh meat every day. And also there's Kensington market where you will also find fresh food. And also there's a lot of mom and pop style restaurants along in Kensington Market, which is an interesting neighborhood to check out and is a historical neighborhood in Toronto. Now keep in mind, I'm just giving you an overview of some of the neighborhoods and you can always research them in more depth on your own time. Now, if you're looking for some neighborhoods to go out and maybe party a little bit and go to a bar and relax type atmosphere, one place you may wanna look at is Liberty Village. It's a fairly trendy neighborhood and in the last few years, it has become a popular hangout area. Another street that has been popular for a very long time is King Street West. King Street West has many different choices of what you can do. There's theaters along there. There is a place called Roy Thompson Hall where they have performance arts, music, things like that. They have restaurants along there. There's a movie theater along there called the Tiff Bell Lightbox. And if you go further west from there, there's a lot of nightclubs and bars and places you can go to along on King Street West. Now just north of King Street West is Queen Street West. Some famous landmarks you will see along Queen Street West is the Eaton Center. You will see the old city hall. You will see the new city hall. And again, once you go further west from there, there's more restaurants and places you can go and eat and check out. Again, some mom and pop stores. But now that is becoming a fairly popular area, there's a lot of name brand places and restaurants that you can go to as well. Now, if you like the water, a good place to go is the harbor front. There's a lot of boat cruises along there. There's also sightseeing there. There's a performance theater right along the front. Again, there's more restaurants, walking paths, and places to enjoy yourself along the harbor front. There's even an area where you can have a little paddle boat ride in the summer or in the winter it turns into an ice rink. Another good spot if you enjoy the water and the beach is Woodbine Beach. Woodbine Beach has wooden pathways that you can walk along. There is a dog park area. There is volleyball net set up in the summertime. And of course you can swim in the lake when you're there in the summertime as well. Also not too far away from Woodbine Beach, a little bit east of there is the Scarborough Bluffs. That is also a popular destination for Torontonians to go to in the summertime. Now, if you're looking for some places to go shopping, there's a lot of different malls and areas in Toronto you can go shopping. I'll give you a couple of areas. So right by Young and Bloor, and between Young and Bloor and Young and Bay, is an area called Yorkville and that area is a little bit more posh upscale neighborhood. A lot of movie actors live along that area and you can go shopping in that area. There's also an outdoor mall called Shops at Don Mills and that is also a great place to go to eat, to shop and there's even a movie theater there as well. A few other malls to visit are the Eaton Center which I already mentioned along Queen Street West, Scarborough Town Center, Fairview Mall, Yorkdale Mall and Sherway Gardens. Toronto is also a great city for theater style entertainment and we have many different places you can go to watch these type of shows. I had mentioned earlier Roy Thompson Hall. There's also the Princess of Wales Theatre which is along King Street West. And then we have another popular street called Young Street. And along Young Street or in and around that area are a few other theatres. You have the Elgin Winter Garden Theatre. 
you have the Ed Mervish Theater, there is Massey Hall as well. So all these different theaters have different shows and things going on and you can see what's playing currently in them and go check out those shows. If you're into sports, we do have a lot of sports teams, starting with the one I'm wearing here which is the Toronto Blue Jays baseball team. We have the Toronto Raptors basketball team, Toronto FC which is our football club, our soccer team, and of course the Toronto Maple Leafs which is our ice hockey team. So now I'm going to tell you about some of the attractions that are famous in Toronto. There is the Royal Ontario Museum and nearby to there is another place called the Art Gallery of Ontario which is also linked with OCAD. We have the Science Centre which is really attractive to young kids and there is a movie theatre in there which is almost like an overhead type of movie theatre which is fun to go and watch different documentaries and whatever type of educational movies are playing in there. One of my favourite attractions is Casa Loma which is an old home slash castle which is now a very famous tourist attraction in Toronto. Of course the world famous CN Tower is a place that many tourists will come and visit and now at the bottom of the CN Tower is a new attraction which has only been here for a little while, which is the Ripley's Aquarium. Another fairly new attraction in Toronto is the Aga Khan Museum. And inside that museum there is also a theatre where they do different types of performance arts from all over the world. And it's a great place to check out. And they also have an outdoor park linked to it that you can go walk and enjoy and relax in. If you want to go see some different animals, we have the Toronto Zoo and they have giraffes and tigers and lions and various different types of animals that you can see. We also have an event called the Canadian National Exhibition, otherwise known as the CNE, which happens from the middle of August to the beginning of September. And they have different rides and games and attractions and different types of food as well. They also have an air show on the last couple of days. And also from the harbour front, you can take a little boat ride and visit an area called Centre Island which again has rides for young children and it's a park and a relaxing type of place to go. And if you're willing to travel about an hour to two hours out of Toronto, two other destinations that are fairly popular is Canada's Wonderland, which has a lot of roller coasters and rides and games. And secondly is Niagara Falls, which a lot of people love to go to and see the falls, as it is a very famous world attraction as well. And lastly, what I would say is that Toronto is great to visit, especially in the summer season, for festivals. And we have so many different festivals that occur. So I'm just going to list a few for you and you can check it out for yourself or you can research them in a little more depth depending on which one you're interested in checking out. I think the most famous one that we have is the Caravana Festival which is a Caribbean style festival, lots of dancing, colors, costumes and music. Taste of the Danforth which happens along the Greek town. My favorite thing to do there is eat souvlaki or eat gyros on a pita. There's a dancing festival called Salsa on St. Clair which happens on St. Clair Avenue West. If you enjoy watching salsa or dancing salsa, that is a festival to go to for sure. And to name a couple of more, there's a Ukrainian festival, there is a Polish festival, we have an international jazz festival where different musicians come from all over and play for us. And in September we also have the Toronto International Film Festival where a lot of movies debut and make their first appearance at that festival. And we also have a lot of famous actors showing up for this festival as well. So hopefully this gives you an idea of the various festivals and attractions and things to do in Toronto overall. I hope to see you all here in the near future. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys again next time. Peace out.